When it comes to Shine Greymon in the upcoming BT17 format, there's a lot you can do with the direction of the deck considering you have another full line of Agumon, Geo Greymon, Rise Greymon, Shine Greymon, and Shine Greymon Burst Mode. And today's video aims to simply look over those four cards and how to possibly integrate them. As always, if you enjoyed this type of discussion, do consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell for more future content. Koromon can be navigated one of two ways whether you want to base it in yellow or red. One advantage that red offers is that because of BT14, you have a red egg that can consistently give you draw power when a card is removed from the security stack. Alternatively, the yellow uncommon from BT12 offers a minus 1000 DP drop when a yellow or red tamer is suspended. On one hand, the yellow allows you to fully utilize the new Agumon from BT16 for the search of a two-color card off the top three when you play this Digimon. Alternatively, you also have the Agumon from BT17 that when attacking, by suspending one of your yellow tamers, you draw one. Ultimately, the level 2 slots depend on what your level 3s are. Level 3 wise, nothing changes in my mind from the BT12 Agumon for adding a Greymon named Digimon, or Marcus Damon, to your hand. Likewise, the Agumon from BT13 for converting any Marcus Damon into a 3000 DP Digimon is pretty nice. But with the X4, I do like this Agumon mainly because it does gain you a memory when you have a red or yellow tamer in play. And because these three Agumons have the dual color identity, it makes selecting your level 2s much easier. But once you add in any of the yellow Agumons or even Agumon X, you run into the color coordination problems. These three cards add more searchability or combat tricks, but again it creates a potential consistency problem. But alas! If anything, you could always throw in Ukomons for more consistency pieces. Luckily, with level 4s, I think with the new Geo Greymon, I'm definitely running it as a 4 of for the potential attacking and suspending one of the BT12 Marcus Daemons to gain 3000 DP and simultaneously Digivolve into next level. Of course, you'll run the 1 BT13 Geo Greymon for playing Tamers from the security, and of course, you'll run the 4 copies of BT12 for playing Marcus Daemon from hand if you don't have him in play. Alternatively, you could play him at 3. Because all of your Agumons are red or yellow, the new BT17 Geogramon doesn't have too much of a problem. But if you did want to add another Geogramon, you include the one from EX4 as well for memory. With so many players, playing Digimon Emperor, this is not a terrible promote especially if you have a red or yellow tamer already in play. Rise Greymon largely only changes one potential lineup. While true, the BT13 variant can play Marcus Damon from hand without paying cost, Rise Greymon X can still be a 1 or 2 of for its additional playing of a tamer for 1 memory, and even do some DP reduction if you have a Rise Greymon in the sources. But largely with BT17 I am a fan in some regards to the fact that while you have a suspended tamer, this Digimon gets plus 3000 DP and gains piercing. So when your tamer is suspended, immediately the piercing is gifted for the remainder of the turn, even if you digivolve it, at least according to this wording on the card. It again, also provides some DP reduction elements that can be board control. But as another fallback, the BT12 option isn't bad considering you could get a 2 cost digivolution if you have a red or yellow tamer in play. Likewise, Shine Greymons are no stranger to this build in that you can go hyper aggressive with BT12 that gives security check plus 1 to all your Marcuses, or the blocker variant that can also DP reduce from BT13. But the newest Shine Greymon from BT17 can immediately play Marcus Damon from your hand without paying the cost. And this is largely because you have an all turns once per turn effect that if your Shine Greymon would leave the battle area by an opponent's effect, by returning one yellow tamer to hand, you prevent it from leaving. Tamers can now offer protection for Shine Greymon, but this Digimon by itself can't really do anything and lacks the DP buffs and only protects against effects, not battle. Meaning a simple block, or redirect could eliminate this without any problem. Because of the inclusion of the new Marcus Damon from BT17, I'm actually leaning more towards BT13 as a secondary. So now what about level 7s? You have your usual culprits of burst mode from BT13 and ruin mode from EX4 for the 2 turn reprieve. But the ace? While true you can bless Digivolve, your tamer dependence becomes much higher to use its when digivolving effect and on play effect in order to maximize your damage. And the when attacking effect will only give you a maximum of 2 checks when going into security. 
But this is also an inherent flaw in my mind because the OG burst mode trashes security, what's more worthwhile? Two checks, or trashing a security and completely disregarding it. Ultimately, it presently feels like going more aggro for additional checks might work against you, considering Numamon Gate keeps a lot of decks and keeps primarily Magnamon X in check. While Magnamon X fulfills the same gatekeeping role in the current and even future formats just based on their most recent data. I'm partial to keep with the old burst mode and even ruin mode because there are options you can utilize to help with this as well. While true you can utilize the training option cards for searching for tamers or Digimon pieces, Awakening of the Sun is an interesting tech to consider, mainly because this can play your tamers for free. Specifically Marcus Damon, or Rhythm, before placing it in the battle area. Considering this cheapens the cost because this option card costs 3 memory, you can utilize this to not only play out tamers, but to also free Evo into a Digimon with Shine Grimmon in its name from your hand without paying the cost. In niche situations, this could be utilized on even your opponent's turn if they have ways to delete your tamers or bounce them to your hand. Grand Kawagamon Ace or Mirage Gaugamon? Viable targets. While this option card could do this free Digivolution, BT12 Marcus feels like it does the job already. Generally, the space constraints make me lean more towards offensive training, but with the monocolor yellow Geo Greymons, this could cause consistency issues. Which means, when it comes to tamers, you will run the memory fixer that can delete a Digimon with 3000 DP or less when it suspends, and of course the BT12 version that can free Evo when it's suspended. So whether it's suspended itself or attacking or suspended via an effect like Geo Greymon, you can then proc the Digivolve for free. But the new BT17 variant can provide blocker and an all turns effect that when this tamer becomes suspended, one of your Digimon gets plus 3000 DP. And if you have a Digimon with Agumon or Greymon in its name, you gain one memory. I could definitely see this as a 2-up to give additional memory while dropping one memory fixer, simply because this does provide the extra buffs that you could necessarily need with Valkyriemon Ace as a commonly seen Blast Digivolve. To conclude, I want to stress that this list has not been playtested by any means, and is for the most part theory crafted from several lists that topped in Japan on DigimonMeta.com's BT17 format. And because of this, the data isn't exactly perfect for the fact that North America formats are a best of three, while Japan's is a best of one. Which means that success is largely depending on the nature of high rolling and catching your opponent off guard in one game. But with three games, you typically lose the element of surprise in the following games. Additionally, because all the Geogramons are vaccine and yellow by nature, and the newer lines look for yellow tamers, it is also possible that yellow-related cards could also be utilized for the build. As for execution, that will be something that I will explore more in the future. But generally at this point, I think the older support cards are just better and fulfill the need for what you want to do. Offense training is going to be a 4 of, or at least 3 of, to maintain. What are your thoughts on Shine Greymon moving into the BT17 format, and is it a viable option that could even play against the likes of Numamon, Mirage, and Magnamon X. Let me know your thoughts on what you're thinking of tinkering with, and I'll be back with another essay style topic video on Wednesday. This is Digipanda, logging out.